Welcome to the Regretful Pirates. Today's subject is survival of the weakest. Superseding laws of nature by catching wild sea life larvae and artificially raising, releasing, and selling said offspring will have dire consequences. Natural selection chooses the weak to feed to the biodiversity they're from, so only the strong live to reproduce a better version of the species. Our own conservation meddling will unravel the very fabric of life with good intentions and just more selling of aquatic life for tanks with a misguided method of source collecting. Tagging the word cultured and sustainable on everything from the sea that would have been the next generations is only a greenwashing compromise with environmental theft. The biota of Hawaii and beyond is in more danger from aquarium collectors posing as reef protectors than all other threats combined. Playing with the very foundations and fundamentals of the ecosystem by companies pushing life in aquariums is a conflict of many interests to the well-being of all life on Earth. Putting the same industry selling wildlife in charge of saving wildlife will always do more harm than good in a global experiment that can't be undone. We must see this conservation camouflage for what it really is and not support aquaculture, captive bred, cultured, wild, anything meant for captivity or release by a new threat with a new name and an old business nature needs protection from.